It's Nuber Thursday! Woo! And uh, clearly, we have all kinds of awesome on this week's show. We're down at Liberty Station, the newest Stone Brewing Company uh, expansion. Place of awesomeness. Place of awesomeness. I will, I'll accept that. We're here for HopCon, which is the release of the Drew Curtis, Will Wheaton, Greg Cook, Stone Farking Woot Stout. And I practiced Stone. that one. Oh, boy. <laughs> Did I mess it up? Yeah, you screwed that up. Did I really? Start from the beginning. All right. What did I mess up? No, you, I can't. You, you know, can't help me with this? I can't All help right. you if you don't help yourself, Stephen. All right. <laughs> All right. It's Nuber Thursday. Woo! Well, I didn't mean start from that beginning. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So we're down here. We're for the HopCon, which is the release of the Drew Curtis, Will Wheaton, Greg Cook, Stone Farking Wheaton, Woot Stout. And that's what I missed was Wheaton. Good. Wheaton! <laughs> you didn't say it. Now you're saying it right. Yes. So the Stone Farking Wheaton Woot Stout, which is awesome because it combines a lot of geekery together. Um, I think that a lot of geeks, the geek, the geek movement started about 15 years ago-ish. And it's really picked up steam in the last five years especially. But a lot of beer geeks have come from the sci-fi world, the gaming world, the whatever, because they appreciate awesome. And the craft beer world has begun to create just amazing beers over the last 10 years. And so 10 it's, years? Well, that's as long as I've been drinking. Okay. Beer. So I know it's been longer I than had that. my first awesome beer in 1987. I was And it was before 14. Then also I was 14. Just, well, I didn't. Yeah. For you. No, in 93, <laughs> I started drinking import beer. So I was doing a lot of German, a lot of Belgian beers, whatever. But I lived in Minnesota, so what, what did I know? There was nothing in Minnesota. <laughs> Snow, ice, misery. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. There's no craft beer in Minnesota back it's then. It's weird to live in. What's it like to live in a place where the weather tries to kill you twice a year? <laughs> right? Hey, we're Seriously. in California. You know what are you talking right. about? So <laughs> it's just the ground that tries to kill. Oh, that's not what I forgot. Versus, oh, I don't know the average person on the street when you live in LA. Right. Yeah. So now, run away awkwardly that. enough, there are people who are watching the show who are wondering who the two of you are, which is weird, but it's a fact. I mean, everyone knows who Greg is because in the craft beer world, Greg is an A-list celebrity. <laughs> if you want to use lists. <laughs> A celebrity. Which is celebrity. <laughs> or, or the word celebrity. Hey. Which is really, really frightening. But if you're on the it's internet, yeah, if you're the on the internet at all, you know who Will Wheaton is. Hello. Yes. Um, if you ever watched Star Trek The Next Generation, or in my case, Stand By Me, which was the very first R rated movie I ever saw. Thank wow. you for that. Um, and I loved it. Thanks. And I got in a lot of trouble, but it's okay. It was worth it. Um, or if you've ever seen Awesome on the internet, which is Fark.com, then you know who Drew Curtis is. So this is Drew Curtis from Fark.com and Will Wheaton from the interwebs. And just that guy, you know. So it's nice to have you guys on the show. Thanks. Thank you very much for taking time. Um, Drew, you flew all the way out here for this. Yeah, but it's from Kentucky. There's nothing going on. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense then. So, it's easy. and Greg, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, thank you very much. So we're going to be considering how close I am and how often you have me on the show. We've had you, you're in our credits. You're on every show. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to. That's be not enough. That's not enough. I want to be on every episode. No, no we're going to. I don't. I know no, you no, don't, no, no, no. and I, I really, if I thought you did, I would actually thank ask you. But you. I know you don't. So. Are we going to open this beer? Or am I, I know, have right? a temper tantrum? I know. Tell me about I it. I think I sobered well, up while we were talking. Oh, you got to go for the second one. That's more entertaining than temper watching people tantrum. sit around and drink beer. <clears throat> I don't know what he's talking about. I think it's more entertaining. Okay, than beer. thank you. Good night, Will. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna moon. let's talk a little night, bit. Drew. Let's talk a little bit about this beer. Um, Will and Greg, you guys have been. Much. There you go. You know, this is I'm, I'm the voice okay. of uh, voice of reason, of reason and responsibility. Yeah. Um, you guys have been good friends. I know. I talked to the both of you at the first Wootstock. I mean, totally. Be transferring those. We know what you're trying to uh, The Wootstock right. um, a couple years ago. For everyone in the audience who doesn't know what Wootstock is, it's a show that I created with Paul and Storm and Adam Savage. And uh, it's sort of like a nerd vaudeville show. And uh, we've done it in venues all over the country, but the, like sort of the big kind of crown jewel of Wootstock is our annual San Diego Comic Con show, uh, which is actually happening tomorrow night. Right. So you guys, you guys, I knew you knew guys, you knew, knew each other then. But how long have you guys been friends or known each other? How long has this been in the works? 
Drew and I figured out that we've known each other a little over 10 years, and that's just because we can track it by the age of his oldest son. Yeah, okay. Uh, we, <laughs> Who turns been, 10 tomorrow, which is right. why I'm getting the hell out of here. Is that his whole life yeah. purpose, is to track your relationship with Will Wheaton? It's very useful. Yeah, actually. I mean, it's, yeah. When it, whenever Storm is like, I don't know what, I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm here. No, no, no Storm, yeah. I got it. It's like, okay, like not living, to interrupt, like but let's cheers. Yes, let's, let's cheers this, it. and so we can all drink cheers. while you're talking. Thank there you. It is. Cheers. Let's do it. So continue. In a minute. Actually, I'll <laughs> so like, I'm going to experience yeah, go this now. While you guys are doing that, the second time we met, uh, we had just found out that Heather was pregnant with Storm. So, okay. Uh, and that was almost 11 years ago. Now, and is he named after Storm from Pollen Storm? No, I get that a lot, actually. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I had to ask. Had I known Storm at the time, the answer would be yes. Okay. All right. But I did not. He is know. pretty amazing. He is, so. he is. And I say that because he's right over Storm, there. Storm, right off yes. camera. Very flattering. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. This is only the second sip I've had of this. So I had I had a sip of a bottle a couple of days ago, and this is the only the second time that I've actually like really gotten to have it. Did you drink the wort? Um, we had a little yeah. bit of the wort, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we had some like four days out of the fermenter, um, mm -hmm. and both of them were really were really good. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. Yeah, that was a really good indicator too. The way that tasted just four days in, I was like, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so you guys have known each other for 10 years, and Will, you and Greg have known each other for? Oh, about the same. About the same, okay. Yeah. Um, now, I know you guys have been talking about doing collaboration for a while, and Stone does collaborations in threes, um, much like celebrities die. Um, and so, how did later how, tonight potentially? <laughs> later tonight potentially. <laughs> not for, um, you know. Is that why you poured me such? For a the record, I am not a celebrity. I think it's adorable <laughs> that you think I'm a celebrity. That's really, that's really <laughs> sweet. That's just, um, it's, it's, uh, hey, he's yeah. a list. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a list celebrity. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. No, it's so, now an annual event and sort of an honorary uh, remembrance <laughs> exactly. event from here on. Now, what was the what was the thinking behind bringing Drew in? Because Drew, you're not a home brewer. Yeah, that's, a, no. that's a really good question. That is a good yeah. question. I, and I, it's, it's not. To you know, say anything negative on your part, but it's <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't but, know. Did, did what you the know hell? That, that, what the, what, what, what are you doing here? <laughs> I don't know. So if we'll Greg, do and I, each other. Greg and I were looking for yeah. a third collaborator, and I had initially come to Greg and said, "All right, so these are breweries that I like. These are styles that I like, and I think would match up with the breweries." And he was like, "Let's not do that. Let's do something totally different. Let's find one of your interesting friends and collaborate with with them." We started. I was like, "Okay." So we started going down lists, and I got to Drew. I'm doing it alphabetically out of my contact list. So you were like the fifth yeah, person. We got early, to. Yeah. And, See, uh, if my name had been Stephen Coburn, I would. No, have been we were invited. actually doing it uh, by <laughs> the first letter. Oh, all uh, right. so I'm out. All, I'm out all the way. Yeah, so so right. Bill Shatner marked <laughs> off the list pretty right. Um, and and I didn't know that Greg <coughs> knew Drew, uh, and then I found out they'd known each other from Ted. And when I was talking about Drew, uh, I think that my pitch to you on Drew was Drew is really smart and and doesn't approach things in a conventional manner and well, yeah he gets and, MBAs and, from funsies and, <laughs> and, is, like, and, is, and, is, and is willing is willing to take chances mm -hmm. and loves beer as much as we do and and I think I don't think I even need to say all of that I think I had said and my friend Drew Curtis and Greg was like yes and I was like no wait let me tell you why I, I planned the entire I built, speech I built slides god damn it <laughs> and I had actually thought of PowerPoint. mentioning Drew yeah Bill Gates yeah. just hung his head like oh that PowerPoint like, uh, went to Complete waste. Actually, my so, funny story about actually Greg is I did like, the slides in uh, apples. Uh, of course, Abby. So. So Greg and I knew each other for a few years, but there's a bunch of people I hang out with Ted uh, that I never asked what the hell they did. Uh, I had no idea. So I just knew Greg is like Greg, the dude that we would. I mean, he drank a lot of beer, so that kind of worked out real well. <laughs> he's like he's either a lush or a brewer. <laughs> it probably is there came a difference? Out, you just <laughs> it probably did. I have a really terrible short-term memory. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, give, all right. Give so the we know why there are hops in this beer. Uh, if you've if you've ever watched an episode of New Beer Thursday, yeah, well, it's because we well, right. I mean, because beer kind of beats hops. Well, well yeah, aside, yeah. Uh, okay, aside. Listen, from, I don't I don't mean to talk down are to you. you. New to this? Uh, smart asses. <laughs> Hello. But now you're when you know a little bit more about beer, what you'll learn <laughs> nice. is that hops is a key component of beer. Yes, it's uh, one of the four. Uh, right. It's one. It's and it's, it's actually one of the four part grades. of the uh, German beer purity law. The Reihenskabots. <laughs> <laughs> Which I can never pronounce. Kizuna. No, that's actually how I say it every time like, on the show. And then like school, John, John always yeah. laughs at me, and <laughs> like he says he it the right way, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, but your contribution to this beer is overhopping it. 
if I may be so bold. I don't. I, I think really this is. I think this is actually yeah. quite under. Well, that's. I was for, trying to not say that it was overhopped, but when I said that you made contribution of hops, I got made fun of. So now I'm making it a point to say that you brought hops to this beer the way that Stone brings hops to beer. I think. I think honestly, in in this particular beer, one of my biggest contributions was getting it out of the way a little bit, letting the, the brainstorming process okay. happen. These guys threw out a lot of really good ideas. Um, and and when they were looking, I scrapped all of them. And, no, actually, no. They really, they're, <laughs> seriously, it was kind of let the be because I know what I like, and that's the great thing about a uh, collaboration is to mm -hmm. go in ways you wouldn't normally go in. Right. And now, well, wheat and wheat. Do you feel like you were kind of trapped into that? Do you feel like you could have brought something else to the table, but you were forced to with wheat? Not necessarily. I mean, all the all the things that we had talked about bringing to this uh, rye malt and and uh, pecans and uh, and and uh, aging some of it in bourbon barrels. Uh, I thought, God, that sounds great. I don't think we really need to do anything else to it. But um, if I was going to do a collaboration, and probably you know, this is like I get one swing of this particular bat. <laughs> I really wanted to. Uh, to have wheat in it just because it's in my name because I think it's cool and also right as as a brewer I love wheat malt right on and I think yeah. wheat wheat malt is is just it's 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 versatile mm -hmm. and and I, I it really, does some really great like things it. for the mouthfeel of the beer it right. really and brings a lot of characteristic to the the feel of the beer when you're drinking it so that's I did awesome. a, I did a saison with some wheat malt in it and it had the most amazing mouthfeel and some of the like really amazing head retention and just I I'm a fan. I like it. Right so I, I, I think that it's it's okay to go ahead and and it's okay, homebrewers. It's okay to put wheat malt in things. <laughs> and I just think and it's a good it's a good thing that your name is not say Will Hemlock. It's yeah, because that would be a really very, awkward beer true. to drink. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a beer you would love once. It's got a great <laughs> nose, but I'm just not going to take taste the flavor. So Drew, um, when I think of Drew Curtis, I obviously think of pecans. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Me too, so I, but, I think like but nuts, tell but the audience fun. why you would think of pecans and you're not. I'm glad that that was. Oh, I was. Gonna, <laughs> and then you oh no! Of course, I'm gonna catch that. Of course. Yeah, because like, uh, so I don't make beer, and I have no idea how the hell any of this stuff works. But the beers that I do like uh, in Kentucky, where I live, we have a lot of bourbon barrel stouts. They're mm -hmm. like everywhere. Uh, I suggested it just because it's what I like, and I thought it was a little too common to to make. Turns out that California, not so much. Yeah, we don't do a lot of pecans here. No, we don't. Yeah. Not really. Uh, so uh, it was. Uh, so I was like, okay, well that kind of works. I was like, well let's just do the whole damn thing. Let's just do derby pie flavors the entire way. Nice. Okay. So, and you want to tell the home audience what a derby pie is? Yeah, it's basically it's pecan pie with bourbon and chocolate in it. Yeah. So and some it's, asshole built a trademark on it by the way wrongly, and uh, I hope yeah. that they sue because go fuck yourself. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> bring it. <laughs> Derby pie or that flavor, <laughs> that flavor of pie is actually one of the most amazing experiences you can have for a dessert. I just it's, watched, it's like saying, I just let's watched, get I just, ready to uh, derby pie. Yeah. 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 We'd like to point out though that seven publicists. Yeah. All yeah. 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 Oh my God, he said that out loud. Dead. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I would like to point out that don't sue Newber Thursday. We have nothing to do with it. <laughs> exactly. Newber Thursday yeah. says, "Go fuck yourself." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on, on that note, on that note, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to send Drew and myself off to meet with Bill, and we're going to try this beer with some amazing stone food products that are awesome. Food products. Food products. <laughs> food product. Like the spam? Food products. Food, yeah, food you guys make food, food style. Food style. Food style. Food product. Product. Well, that, when I think of stone, I think of an assembly <laughs> line. <laughs> you know, yeah. So it's weird. Exactly. I feel like I'm in the stone kitchen right now. <laughs> So, yes, we're going to do that. So enjoy yourselves, and we'll be back in just a moment. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another Master Pairing. I'm your host, Bill Sysak. Today we have a special guest, Drew Curtis from FARC.com. Welcome, Drew. Thanks. Oh, and, and I'm not the special guest? You're special, but we'll uh, talk about that later, Stephen. And yeah. of course, we have Stephen Johnson from New I forgot Thursday. my helmet. Uh, we are at <laughs> HopCon. HopCon. And you want to tell them a little bit about HopCon, uh, Stephen? Me? OK. Yeah. Well, HopCon is the, I guess it's like the launch for Comic-Con with beer. So I mean, Comic-Con starts today-ish down in San Diego. So everybody who's coming to Comic-Con is coming down. And um, you guys brewed this amazing beer, which we are doing a show about, the uh, Woot Stout. Um, so we won't go into too much detail about that. but. 
Um, HopCon is the release for this beer, which this is the perfect day for it on Wednesday. So um, I assume you're here for the weekend, right? No, actually, I'm here for 18 hours, and I'm getting the hell back into Kentucky tomorrow morning. You came all the way down here for me? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to hug yeah, you actually. Later. Actually, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm going to hug you How later. are you with dry humping? Is that cool? <laughs> I love it. Oh, God, he's, he's fabulous. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get, get Stephen back on track. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so Giggity. this is the preliminary for... Comic Con, mm -hmm. and um, there's an event that happens there every year, right? The Rootstock. Rootstock, and so yeah. this is kind of a riff off of that, right? Uh, between Drew, Will Wheaton, and our own founder. Well, Woot's a, a long-term leet speak right. sort of, course, of word, so yeah. I know they're all fans of it. Right. Where they right. take part of it, at least yeah. Will and probably Drew. You, you you've been a part of it in the past at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done uh, done one or two. Yeah. Okay. Usually I just hang Very back cool. in the green room. And so green what we're gonna have today is a fabulous new stone beer. It is called the uh, Drew Curtis Will Wheaton Greg Cook Stone Farking Wheaton Woot Stout. And it is a 13% imperial stout made with a portion of rye and wheat malt. Part of the beer was aged in bourbon barrels for a period of time. So it's really exciting. It's a big over-the-top beer. And what are you going to pair with the big over-top beer like this? Well, Chocolate's a no-brainer, so we have some of our wonderful Arrogant Bastard Ale Brownies. And then you can also use big seared meats. Seared meats work really well, especially with a uh, barbecue sauce, in this case, Korean barbecue. Uh, we're doing our wild boar uh, grilled ribs. What happens is the fancy chef term, the Maillard reaction, which is the searing of proteins or browning of breads, matches the caramelization that occurs with the different roasted malts. So in this case, we're gonna get big coffee, chocolate, but also, oh, and you know what, I forgot. He, he's been looking at me funny this whole time. There's another ingredient in there, and that ingredient is what? It's Pecans. Oh, it's, right? my, it's my nuts. Kentu yeah, it's his, his nuts. nuts from Kentucky. So yes. how Kentucky can you not respect pecan. a man's nuts? I know, well, <laughs> trust me. So that's gonna add this really nice complexity. I think it's gonna go great with the meat. And uh, it'll also play really well with the brownie. So there's uh, so many jokes with the nuts. Gentlemen, and the meat let's thing have right a so. cheers <laughs> and taste cheers. this wonderful beer. This is actually my first taste. I oh, awesome! Had oh, that's delicious. Yeah, I'm going to be in the hospital by tomorrow morning. I can tell. <laughs> we'll get you really drunk before the end. Get that end. stomach pump primed. It's already. big, intense. <laughs> it has some slight fusel notes. Well, what do you expect? It's 13 percent, but it also has nice coffee and chocolate. But the wheat also adds almost a hint of tartness, the rye adds some spice, and your nuts are definitely playing a role also, Drew. I hope so. Um, I think it's gonna go really well it's with the ribs. Let's give it a shot and see what we think. Uh, uh, go ahead, sir, I believe your utensils are wrapped in that brown cloth right uh, there. utensils. Mm. Big, rich. Since awesome. it'd be obvious coming from you, I'm going to talk about how amazing the food is here, because, oh my God, these, are, these ribs are just so delicious. Mm -hmm. A little bit of heat too, I like that. Mm -hmm with the rib and the sauce, the Korean barbecue sauce on there, what you're getting is you're getting the, you're actually, your nuts are really playing through, and mm -hmm. so is the they bourbon. Awesome. It's really bringing the, and the, the bourbon. pecan out, yeah, absolutely. It's pushing back the coffee and the chocolate, mm -hmm. which I imagine will show back up when we have the brownies, mm, right. but it, it's really being accentuated the other ingredients, which is really fun, and the rye, the spice. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of interesting. The, and the you, spice is bringing the fusel notes up just a right. little bit more, so it's almost like you're, it's getting just a little bit more of that bourbon characteristic that's uh, playing off the back end of the, the palate. Right, and it's kind of fun because the rye is acting with the bourbon as almost as if it was in rye whiskey barrels, too, mm -hmm. because of the complexity, yeah. the, the depth, and the intensity. Yeah, it could be, um, I don't know what the bourbon was that was from the barrels, but bourbon's generally either wheat or rye. Right. They have a totally different flavor profile. Like, I really like rye bourbons a lot. Mm -hmm. My wife doesn't. She likes wheat. So, which is nice because she doesn't steal my stuff and I kind of leave hers alone too. So. <laughs> so, I think we should try the brownies, Steve. All right. Now, are these special brownies? Am I going to. Wink, wink. <laughs> All stone brownies are special. And actually, these don't have the stone in front of them because they're arrogant bastard brownies mm. and they stand alone. But intense, rich, chocolatey flavor. Mm. Interestingly, as much as I thought the coffee and chocolate would show up, the bourbon comes out. Mm -hmm. The bourbon comes out huge. It's almost like a bourbon sauce yeah. on there. You know what I'm thinking? Um, with there's there's just a hint of a spice characteristic on this beer that I didn't expect, oh, right. and I'm thinking that like um, something like a spicy Thai dish would work really well mm. with this. I think it would. I mean that I, that's not what I would expect to pair with this, but in my head I'm thinking the the spice notes from the Thai and the peanuts would would play off the pecans, well, Steven, bring that out uh, a little bit, and kind I of. I believe I paired uh, on our tasting notes for this. Uh, 
chicken satay mm -hmm. um, with peanut sauce. So right. peanuts definitely plays into it. Not all spicy Thai would go, I imagine, but just like the Korean barbecue right. sauce on here does, the bigger, more robust uh, heat that comes with a, a rounder flavor as opposed to just like straight up sriracha. Sorry, right. Randy. Um, <laughs> those kind of things. Sriracha is go, so last week. Oh my God, Randy. <laughs> those will go uh, really well with it. But yeah, you can do all kinds of amazing things. That's. That's one of the things I love to do is just surprise people with the different ones. Drew, I want to thank you for uh, coming on Master Pairings. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Steven, thank you, thank you as always. Cheers. Cheers. Absolutely. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we're back. Drew, how was the Master Pairings? How did you, how did you like it? Because we filmed, uh, just because the audience doesn't really know this, but we filmed Master Pairings first because um, Will was being environmentally friendly, which made him late. Um, <laughs> yeah. What the hell have you done for me, <laughs> environment? <laughs> Bitch. Um, so, how did you like the how did you like the master pairing? I really liked it a lot. That yeah. was a lot of fun. I actually wouldn't have stopped doing it except you guys threw me out of the chair. <laughs> Which Quit is, eating this delicious food. Get out of here. I, I got to about you, Drew. Yeah, I just kind of sit around and eat until all the <laughs> things are gone. It's like, what else we got? Um, okay, so we have three different bottles for the Woot Stout, um, and there's three different labels. Uh, one of them is Lord of the Rings centric. One of them is a hop crest, and one of them is like the superhero geeky thing. Um, we'll talk about that. What's the what's the idea behind the designs? Uh, so when we came to do the uh, on, on Brew Day, we had there were prints for for this this bottle design, and I just thought it was super awesome. I like it too. I don't know what is coming out of my mouth that's yellow. Do we ever figure that out? <laughs> I, it's it's either it's either so that, many it's, things. It's, yeah. it's either that you're drooling. I think I bit Greg on the shoulder. It looks like <laughs> right? based on the color. It's of that, thing. or you are a superhero whose sidekick is Peter North. It's mm. one of those two things. Oh I'm wow! Not sure what, <laughs> wow! Uh, we ain't got a cow. We got a bull. And I love that I have a W shaped yeah. in the side of my head, which is great. Yeah. Um, I could have stood a straight face on that. Because I've been I I've been uh, <laughs> I've been I've been doing my initial with little Van Halen wings on them since <laughs> three or something like that. As you do. Um, so okay. I like that. Uh, so yeah. I thought that was really cool. And I can't remember where the, the idea for a, a third kind of limited bottle design came from. Um, but I suggested my friend Joel Watson, who's a cartoonist, mm -hmm. uh, and Joel is really, really great at three-panel uh, cartoons. Okay. And Joel loves beer, and Joel knows Drew, and, and, and Joel has gone with me to the bistro. So I pitched pitched the idea to him, he liked it, I put him in touch with everybody at Stone, and then he did uh, this one over here. And okay. I just want to point out that originally, Joel and I both really wanted Drew, instead of be saying, you have my pecans, we really wanted him you to say, you nuts. have my nuts. <laughs> and in fact, I didn't know this, and so when I saw that version of it, I was like, it should say, you have my nuts, and Greg yeah. is like, no, no! <laughs> well, well there is, there's, there's, I also really, there I, is I, I, some um, approval process involved well, with getting these and things it would, done. It would need to, it's yeah. the first panel, and it would need to be the third panel. Right. You know, yeah. Will saying, you have my weed, yeah. me saying, and you have my hops, and then, you know, you gotta... Yeah. It would be banned in every southern state straight out and of the bed. And, and the hop crest is gorgeous, too. I really, I think the hop crest is beautiful. But the other thing I really love about this is that it looks to me like uh, 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 Jack Kirby um, was drunk and colored a Charles Burns drawing. And, and I, <laughs> I really, I like that. I just, I like that. Right on. That's awesome. All right, so Drew, this is your first brewing experience. Yes, that's correct. You've never home brewed. Nope, never have. And you uh, have no like clue what brew, what beer, like you didn't even know you boiled it, did you? I saw a friend of mine do it once and Wait, I was just Wait, did you know like, that hops go in beer? Oh, uh, shut well, up. You know, <laughs> I think I did know. Yeah. Uh, but okay. uh, and you've never actually brewed before, but you knew that. No, no, oh, I, just, yeah. well, I, I, thought was, I thought it was hoppy and I, I knew it wasn't jumping. Getting so. Off. Mm. But, um, so tell me, okay. No, I watched a friend homebrew once and I was like, that's a goddamn pain in the ass. Just go to the store. But, <laughs> but no, no. I can't have any fault with that. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't no, either. I don't either. That's not why you do it. I don't either. Apparently not. No, I, and honestly, the funny thing, I, I, I brew, or I have brewed, I haven't brewed for a while, but I, I enjoy brewing beer. But I am the same ilk where I'm like, I would rather just go buy beer or mm -hmm. drink my friend's home brews because yeah, that's actually I, I my, my passion is drinking beer yeah, and enjoying I people's. Because I, uh, <laughs> I know like beer is an art form and when people create beer, it's like their expression of art. And I love appreciating other people's art. Mm -hmm. I'm not as 
interested in creating my own. <laughs> right. So, yeah, yeah. Right. but um, okay. So, tell me about what it was like to be your first experience being in a commercial brewery like Stone, because it's a, it, Stone's. A, first of all, Stone is a very beautiful brewery. It's very mm -hmm. amazing. I've never personally been asked to collaborate a beer with with Stone. Whatever, um, but I can imagine it'd be awesome. So talk about that. Well, a little we bit. can teach you how beer is made with hops. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, it's got hops. Apparently yeah. it's got hops. Yeah. You have to remove Will's head from the bucket <laughs> first. Though. That's right. You have to. I'm surprised any hops made it into this. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> he's just eating it like yeah. you know rabbits. Oh, he was in there a while. I was like, is that legal? So I mean, did you? I mean, when you walked in there, did you feel overwhelmed? What was what? How how were you kind of? your take on it. Well, so as it turns out, I don't know how I missed it, but I didn't realize we were actually going to make the beer. I had no damn idea. I was like, <laughs> like I don't know why I'm here. I was like, just told to fly like, in from Kentucky and I'm here, so whatever. Well, you know, it, 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 it happens. There's nothing going on in Kentucky, so it's easy. <laughs> but it was like, you know, I, was, I figured, well, we're just going to meet some people. It'll be great. And they're like, and tomorrow we're going to make it. I'm like, I'm going to have to change my flight because <laughs> I, I was, was going to be tomorrow. leaving in like an yeah, hour. Yeah, I was like, oh, let me, let me shift this back. And uh, yeah, so... I, and I thought maybe it was going to be like, okay, then I thought, okay, well, we're not really going to make this because they're going to like, you know, we'll throw a couple of ceremonial handfuls. Nope. Whole crew stood right back and gave us I a box it. cutter and you're like, put it in the thing. Well, okay, I guess we're doing this. So that's what we did. <laughs> right on. That's awesome. Well, there's a, you know, the team loves it because these collaborations because then they get to watch yeah. other people. Work. Oh, they were laughing yeah. hysterically yeah. too. Yeah. Like, it was uh, really fun for me to yeah. being a home brewer to get to work on professional equipment and to open up uh, more grain in uh, two minutes than I've than I have used at home ever in in two years of mm -hmm. brewing almost every other weekend. Now you uh, have a history with really home brewing, right? Yeah. Um, your father? I am a father. Yes. Well, you are a father. Yes. Yes, but I mean, what's your what's your background with home brewing? When did it start? Why are you interested in it? My uh, my son came home from college uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, he I guess it was right after he graduated. It was before he was going to move away from his job, and he said, "So look, I want to have a father son activity to do together over summer." And I said, "That's great. What do you, what do you want to do? Like, sit on the couch?" And, uh, and he said, "No, let's make beer together. That'd be really great." And I had made beer uh, when I was a around his age. Uh, it got infected, it, it, I, I gave up. And he was like, no, let's do this. We can do this, it'll be totally great. And we went to a homebrew supply, went to Eagle Rock Homebrew Supply um, okay. in, uh, in, in Eagle Rock mm -hmm. and walked in there. And, and uh, uh, I talked to Kevin, one of the co-owners, and he right. was like, yeah, it's easy. Let me show you how to do it. And he just walked us through the whole thing. And we made a beer together, and it was awesome. And I was just like, I was immediately hooked. Did you, you did, your first one was extract or all grain? We did extract, extract with specialty yeah. grains. We did, a, we did a California pale mm -hmm. where we substituted a little bit of uh, caramel 80 for caramel 60 because <gasps> we wanted, uh, we just wanted slightly darker, uh, a, you know, slightly He's going to need a moment to compose experience. himself. Yeah. Shut up, Greg. Um, <laughs> well, and this is, and I think this Ryan, is a good, we, this we, is a good yeah, statement. Ryan, my son Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Right there. Come Ryan, right over here, and, come over here and jump in real quick and say hi. <laughs> say hi, hello. Yeah, <laughs> he's, I don't, he's throwing clothing off. Um, this is my son Ryan. How's it going? So this is this is he is yes, like ultimately responsible for Woot South, then, right? <laughs> wow. What? That, is, <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> this is a family. No, it's not a family. Oh, it's show. not Tuesday. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> so, um, now, so Ryan, you're <laughs> ultimately you're ultimately responsible for. I, I, want, I want to acknowledge the you <laughs> of your, your whole family. Yeah, I'll just keep yeah, drinking yeah, until yeah, it makes sense. Blends yeah. right into your shirt. Mm. So we all want to thank you for oh, yeah. encouraging him to go down that route. And fun, yeah. um, I would also like to say to the aspiring home brewers out there, if Will Wheaton can start with an extract, so can you. Do not start with this, like, I'm going to make this barley wine with watermelon and whatever in it. Stop it. <laughs> I just also like Brew to say, a good pale ale. I'd like to also it's say, fun. Please, please don't ever make a barley wine with watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Funny story, I actually recently tried to make a watermelon wine. Did not go well. Yeah, no, watermelon yeah. should just not be made. I think you should liquid. use watermelon rind. No, I used, like, 40 pounds No, in the water. barley wine. I want to do, I want to challenge yeah. out there. A barley wine with watermelon rind. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, that's what you say. Now. Okay, and apparently it's that's been it's been now. challenged. Prove Ugh. Wrong. Ugh. There you go, Ugh. internet. Well, I want to say thank you to all three of you. I know you have an event to get to that's already started, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. I hear them making announcements outside. Yeah, they're like, we don't know what's happened. To we the don't know where those guys are. Yeah, Somewhere. they've been kidnapped by Newber Thursday. Sorry. Hey. Transport. I've always wanted to Woo. have three guys in my house to drink beer with all the time. <laughs> 
Um, so anyway, um, Greg, as always, thank you for opening up your establishment to us. We really, we, we love Stone. We, you guys brew amazing beers, and thank craft, you, the craft community would not be the same without you. And thank you to my uh, collaboration friends. Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers, well, yes, appreciate thank you. it. It's good to get together over a beer or Exactly. Several. And Will, we've been asked um, over the last, well, since you first posted your blog about homebrewing, oh, yeah. we've been asked by all of our fans to have you on the show. Really? Yes. Oh, that's and cool. Our, our response, Thanks, fans. Yeah, our response has always been, when there's a reason to have him on, we'll, have, we'll try to get him on. Because, I mean, a lot of people homebrew beer. Uh -huh. And so having you on otherwise would have just been, hey, we have Will Wheaton on our show. Yay. But now you've given us a reason. So thank you for that. Wait, hold, let me just back up and make sure I understand. <laughs> it. Given the opportunity to have the Will Wheaton on your show, just... Just because? As, as Yeah, I mean, just like... Due to his largesse and mm -hmm. and great patience, patience. Because uh, uh, when I think of Will Wheaton, I think patience. That that wasn't. <laughs> that is the key to survival. That's the way have to be to wait on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our show is about advocating craft beer, and we love craft beer. I and know what you your have, show's about. I've been yes. watching it forever. And thank you for that, by the way. You're welcome. That was probably one of the greatest moments of my life when you recognized me and said, "I watch your show," and I was like, <gasps> "Kick <Kate> ass." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. so that we was amazing. Wrap this up. We are. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Drew, I have been a fan of Fark.com since the internet. Cool. That's how long we've been around. Yeah. Since so Al since Gore. the internet. Yes. Um, so at, once Al Gore gave you the permission to have the site, it, it's been awesome. And I just really appreciate all three of you taking the time to get to do the show with us. And this has been one of the best experiences of my life. So cheers. Thank cheers. you. And until next week, everybody, stay safe and drink beer. We're all supposed to cheers now. <laughs> this is complicated. <laughs>